Well, I'm Sterling Daniels. I'm a wildlife biologist, Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. And what we're doing today, we're here at Foothills Wildlife Management Area, and we're uh, conducting golden eagle surveys. And basically what we do, we have uh, deer carcasses staked out over uh, digital trail cameras, and we have uh, eight sites here in East Tennessee, with a total of 15 here in, in, in East Tennessee between TWRA and the Nature Conservancy. And we're working in collaboration uh, with the Golden Eagle Cooperative in the Southeast, which total over 120 sites. And what we're doing is monitoring the Golden Eagles as they migrate down the Southern Appalachian chain. And so far we picked up eight different capture days for the Golden Eagles at uh, three sites here in East Tennessee uh, with TWA and one with the Nature Conservancy in Johnson County. So we're out here today, we've pulled the cameras and we've checked the sites and reviewed the cards on the computer. And um, we didn't have any Golden Eagles at this location. Uh, we're gonna check a site tomorrow on Clinch Mountain. And like I said, we're just trying to get a relative abundance of the Golden Eagles that are migrant here in East Tennessee, a winter migrant. They re they're residents of the Western US and uh, Canada and Alaska area where they uh, nest and uh, are permanent residents year round. Well, the Golden Eagle, it's a state threatened species here in Tennessee. Uh, there's no known nesting locations here now. We had one eagle in the past that had nested and produced six fledglings, but overall it's a rare species in the state. Um, it, it could possibly be seen, you know, if a birder was wanting to go out and view a Golden Eagle here in East Tennessee, uh, target these high ridge tops, which was with the locations that we're targeting for the cameras. And it would be possible, we're, you know, it's a surprising, it's a rare bird, but it's, we're surprised at the number of uh, individuals we've captured on camera. So it's more secretive and, and less likely to be seen, but they are here and they migrate through from November to March.